All right, here we go. Question number eight from our 1316 homework number eight in my lab math. They want us to find the direction angle of V for this vector. What we need to start with, let's copy down that vector. Vector V, that's 2i minus 7j. And then to give you an idea of what the uh, direction angle is, I want to sketch the graph of this vector. So the initial point is going to be at the origin. And to graph this vector, it's a lot like plotting an ordered pair. We're going to go over 2 and down 7. Uh, but the difference is a vector is not just a point. It's it looks kind of like a ray in geometry, okay? It's going to have an end point, a start and a finish, and it's going to have a direction arrow. So this vector is going to start at the origin, and it's going to go in this direction, and it does have a definite length. Remember the magnitude is the length of the vector. We're trying to find its direction angle. And so if I draw what that would look like, the direction angle would be how many degrees starting from zero does it take to get around to this vector? That's what we're trying to find as far as the direction angle goes. Here's how we can do that. First, let's construct a right triangle where theta is at the origin. And we know the length of the side along the x-axis is 2. And the length uh, parallel to the y-axis, that length is 7. And with Pythagorean theorem, we can get the hypotenuse, but we don't really need that because in order to find an angle theta, you only need two sides of a triangle and then you can use Sokotoa. All right, so if I label these sides, opposite of theta would be the opposite side. The two would be the adjacent because the hypotenuse is across from the right angle. So we have opposite and adjacent that we know. That means I can find theta using the tangent. So we're going to set this up and we're going to say tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. That's going to be 7 over 2. And then I can move the tangent to the other side, which is going to give me the inverse tangent of 7 over 2. And then if I pull out my handy dandy calculator, we can do the inverse tangent of 7 over 2. Now that uh, angle needs to be in degrees. And so I need to make sure that my calculator is in degree mode. So we're going to put that in degree mode and then do 7 over 2. And we're going to get 74. What is it? It wants to round to one decimal place. So that would be 74.1 degrees rounded. All right, now let's see what we just found, okay? If I was to sketch another graph, what we just found was how many degrees it is from here to here. Now remember that negative angles go clockwise, so really that would be negative 74.1 degrees. If I want the positive equivalent, in other words, if I want the angle that would go from here to here, I need to start at that angle and go a full circle, which means I need to take negative 74 and add 360. Does that make sense? If I start at that angle at negative 74.1 and I go a full circle, 360 degrees, then that will give me the positive equivalent angle. So let's see here. If we go negative 74.1 plus 360, 
and then hit the SD button to get a decimal, that would be 285.9. So our angle should be 285.9 degrees. And again, I'm going to do this one more time just so I feel good about it. I'm going to graph this vector again. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, over 2, down 7. And this angle that we just found, the answer is how much it takes to start from 0 to get around there. So this would be 270. 285 is a little bit more than that, and so I feel good about that answer, okay? I feel really good about that answer. Let's see how we did. 285.9. Done. All right, man, I hope all that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.